Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a big fat Primark haul. We have one bag and we also have two bags which are damn packed full of stuff. I'm slightly scared they're going to rip on me because we all know what the Primark bags are like. But yes, we have a Primark haul today. It'll be a try and haul as always. I was about to say everything will be linked down below but obviously it won't be but um yeah right um cool let's get on with it first up i got this set because if you saw my last primark haul i got this set in like a sagey green like pistachio color and i'm obsessed with it and then i saw they've come out with it in like a charcoal gray and these are basically like adenola dupes from primark and i literally love them so this is the top i have already worn these but i did keep the tags so i could tell you the prices however the tags are like at the bottom of the bags so it was great like forward thinking from me there but i can't now find the tags as and when i find them i will let you know the prices but this top i got in an extra small and for reference i'm five foot five and i'm a size six however this initially fit me really nice and tight and fitted i put it in the wash and then i like, tried it on again to film the try on clip and it looks quite baggy so i don't really know how that's happened because normally things shrink in the wash rather than stretch so I don't know but I feel like in the trial clip it doesn't look very tight and it definitely was tighter so not too sure how I feel about that maybe size down potentially um, and then I also got the matching leggings which are actually inside out because these have also been in the wash these I got in an extra small as well but I mean I'm not going to turn them the right way around because you can kind of see what they look like anyway they're just like a really nice charcoal grey colour they did also have um, matching shorts as well but I decided just to stick to the leggings on the top and I really want Primark to bring out more colours I know they've come out with like a baby pink and a baby blue and a cream so to be fair they have brought out a lot of colours but I want more like I'm obsessed with them I could really do with a black in this like I don't know the vibe set because I would love that like I would snap that up and then I also got these I could not believe it when I walked into Primark and saw these they're like a Tala dupe like what is it with Primark and all these activewear dupes I'm absolutely not complaining though i'm loving it these are just like some gray mal um like flared yoga leggings these were 12 pound and i literally saw them hanging up and i on, like instantly thought tala i just wish they had a matching top for these because i haven't managed to find anything that's like the same color as this but if they had a matching top like the tala like crossover sports bra top i would oh my god i would probably cry because i have wanted that tala set for so long but i just can't like justify the price of it so if i could get a primark dupe i'd be a happy girly but i got these in an extra small and they were 12 pound i've seen a few people on tiktok say that they found these a little bit see-through but i didn't think they were too bad but maybe it's just a case of like making sure you're wearing like the right color underwear underneath them but yeah all these active wear dupes i'm absolutely obsessed with them next up what's this oh okay yep i remember what that is i'm just trying to decide what i want to show you next um we'll go with this next i picked up this little gray waistcoat which i'd seen in primark a few times and every time i'd saw it that that was not good english every time i'd seen it i kind of looked at it on the hanger and then i walked past it because i just didn't really know what to wear it with but then i kept seeing people on tiktok wearing it like styling it with different things and then i decided i was in fact going to get it because i'd then unlocked ideas of how to wear it does that make sense so it's just this knitted gray little waistcoat which i actually think is so cute it's kind of giving zara vibes i got it in a small which is a 10 to 12 because i didn't want it too tight but i didn't want it too big and i feel like this is like the perfect oversized fit and it was 11 pound kind of a random price but it's a really soft knit and i just think with like white wide leg trousers and some nice big sunglasses in like the spring and summer this would look really cute and i've also seen people on tiktok wearing it like over the top of like a little white t-shirt and stuff i do actually feel like there are quite a few ways to style it i wasn't too sure at first how versatile it would be but actually i think it's kind of cute like for the springtime adorable um talking of adorable look at this that i got i got this from the kids section and it's giving jelly cat dupe it's a, like a little clip thing of a coffee cup now tell me that that does not look like the little jelly cat coffee cup to go thing because it does um this was only three pound and the jelly cat ones are literally like 20 pound i just can't justify that um i don't know where i'm going to put this though because that's way too big and clunky and annoying to put my key rings and i've seen a few people attach them like to their car but a i don't know how i'm attaching this to my car because this is the little clip thing why can't i even do it oh my god it's a very stiff clip um and b is that also going to get annoying and in the way so i don't really know where to put it but i just couldn't resist because i just thought that was the cutest little thing ever then i got this which i don't know if i'm regretting getting this already like i literally bought this and in the car on the way home i was already questioning my decisions which i feel like it's never a good thing but i saw this um little gray like cropped v-neck sweater thing and i'm not really a cropped v-neck sweater vest kind of girl however i saw the font on this and it just sold me to it i just thought this looked so expensive it says sunday brunch club in like a really nice font and it's like a dark green color and i just thought that looked really expensive and i absolutely love that but why have primark put it 
on like a chunky boxy v-neck fit cricket sweater vest i don't know but then obviously i still went ahead and bought it um it was 10 pound and yeah it was just this font like i just wish they put it on like a crew neck jumper instead or something and like i also wish they did like matching shorts or something like if they made a two-piece i feel like it could look slightly cuter but i just i loved the font and the writing so much because that is so me but i don't love the actual product so i have actually filmed a tiktok of me trying to style this and trying to make it work this could get returned i have made sure that i have kept that receipt nice and secure because i just don't know like don't like no mm, yeah i'm not too sure but with every cricket golf kind of dad which is the vibes that this gives me comes the yoga driving range rover mum does that make sense um and i saw this and that was the vibes this was giving me it was giving me like naked fashion vibes zara vibes and i really really love this i just thought this looked so expensive it's just this simple like oh i've just made that inside out um like a simple vest top but it's black with this like white piping on it and i thought this with some black wide leg trousers would look so nice however spoiler alert it doesn't look anywhere as nice as i was expecting like i thought i was gonna love this but when i tried it on it just I don't know i feel like it's a bit too much of a high neck i think it could do with being slightly lower and with the black trousers and the high neck i just kind of thought it was giving like business women vibes it wasn't quite giving what i wanted i felt like it looked a little bit too much office wary if you worked in an office though ideal but obviously i don't and i wanted it more like casual wear and i just don't know if the line is kind of being blurred um but i got this in a size small because i wanted it like not too tight but not too baggy and i think the fit of the actual thing is fine i just think it's the neckline and it was nine pounds but i think like start the right way this could look kind of cute but i don't know if it's giving a little bit too much like office wear kind of vibes and then i did cave and i finally got this i've been thinking about it for a while it's the Primark bathrobe. Now, this was £20, which part of me feels like for Primark is kind of expensive. Like, obviously, don't get me wrong, £20 for, like, a bathrobe is not expensive, especially, like, compared to the white company or whatever. However, I feel like this should have been, like, £15. And I know there's only, like, £5 difference, but for, like, £20, like, it's not the world's best made thing. Like, me and Mia tried one on that was, like, unwrapped in the store. And, like, there were some loose threads and stuff. However, I could just imagine myself getting out of shower and just putting this on. Like, I've got a waffle robe from the White Company. But I don't have, like, a toweling one that would actually, like, dry me off when I put it on. And I just loved, like, the spa hotel kind of vibes. So I got it anyway. I mean, to be fair, it is 100% cotton. Um, it's just, like, a really nice, big, like, white robe. If you want to see this on, go and watch my weekly vlog, my most recent one. I'll leave it linked down below. In fact, it might not be the most recent one when this video goes live. Anyway, I'll link the video down below where Mia and I tried these on in Primark so you can see what they look like on. It also does contain, like, a mini what's new in Primark if you want to see that. So I'll leave that link down below. Um, but, yeah, it's just got, like, the classic. This is what it looks like, to be fair. Like, that is the kind of thing there. And I think once I've got out of a nice warm shower after like a marathon training run or something and I put this on, I'm gonna be so glad that I decided to get it. So we have that. And then finally, after the longest time, I mean, it hasn't been that long, but it's felt like the longest time. I finally managed to get my hands on the Primark um, like Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drop Dupes. They only had the medium to dark shade in stock. I would have liked to have got like one of the light to medium and one of the light to dark, but beggars cannot be choosers. So I ended up getting two of these. These are £3.50. I haven't tried them yet. I did try the old ones in like the purple packaging that Primark came out of last year and they were not very good. So I'm hoping that these aren't just the same thing repackaged. I'm hoping they're like a new formula. I also am desperate for the blush drops, but I haven't managed to find them. But part of the quest has been um, completed because I managed to find these and I will let you know um, in the weekly vlogs how I get on with them and what I think about them. I picked up some new socks. I have actually already taken a pair out of this pack, but these are just the um, cushion sole trainer socks. I quite like these for running in because they've got like um, heel support and cushioned heel tabs and cushioned heel and toe apparently according to these they were £3.50 in their socks so they're really boring so let's move on oh here we go I found one of the tags either for the top or the bottoms one of them was £8 for that great set I got these sunglasses because I just thought these would be really nice with an all brown outfit they were £3.50 um, and they look like this and then the sides are kind of chunky I don't know I, did I even try these on in the shop I don't know this is kind of what they look like. I'm thinking like all brown outfit. They could look kind of cute with. I mean, I just can't have myself when it comes to sunglasses. I buy so many pairs. I'm from Primark as well. I mean, £3.50 for Primark. I swear these used to be like £1, but they're not too expensive, you know, to kind of just um, change them out. And then I did actually get some earrings, which I never normally get because I don't really wear earrings. I especially don't wear hoops, but I saw these and they're kind of like a, not square because they're a circle, but they're like flat, like a squashed hoop almost. 
Do you see what I mean? Like they're just a slightly different shape, which I really liked. And these are only £2.50 and you get three different pairs. I quite like the small ones actually. Um, and I quite like the idea of having like small ones and big ones because I've got like my seconds pierced as well. So I haven't tried them on yet, but for £2.50 I thought I might as well give them a go. And then I also wanted to try these out because I've heard that these are meant to be really good. They're the thermal hair rollers. And honestly, when I first saw these in Primark, I stood there and basically read almost every single word on this packaging to try and work out how these work. So I couldn't work out what made them thermal and what made them different to normal rollers. And I think the only difference is these have got like a shiny silver um, kind of like foil in them. And I'm guessing, I actually don't know for certain, but I'm guessing that that kind of like holds the heat in a little bit longer because I expected these to like heat up or something magical, but I think they just have like the foil in. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that kind of helps make the curl last longer. I don't know. I saw someone using these on TikTok the other day and they did like a comparison of these with normal hair rollers and these ones actually like the curl seemed to be more curled, if that makes sense. Anyway, I don't really know if I'm butchering that. They were three pounds. I love giving myself a balancy blow dry. And if this is gonna make my curls last longer, I'm all for it. So that's why I got them. And then a classic, just got some um, hair bands. I decided to change it up though. This is really boring, but these are only a pound. I normally get the black ones. And then I recently um, started getting like the like a beigey mixed pack. But then I saw the brown ones, obviously I've got like brown hair, so that makes so much sense. But all the brown ones are thick hair bands. Whereas if you get the black ones, you get some thick ones and some thin ones and same with the beige ones. And the thin ones are useless to me. Like this is thick, heavy hair. I can't do anything with the thin hair bands. I only ever want the thick ones. So this is perfect. So get the brown pack. If you've got brunette, long, thick hair and you don't want the thin ones, get the brown pack because they're going to blend in better with your hair. And also they're all thick. So you can actually use all 60 of them rather than only having 30. I was chuffed with that. And, and then, oh, here we go. Here's the other tag. I think this is the tag for the leggings. So the leggings were £11 um, and that grey top was £8. And then, of course, is it a Primark trip of mine without stocking up on fake nails? I don't think so. Now, I've actually ended up with a lot of um, pairs of nails. And I did actually think, like, when my bill came through, I thought, God, that's, like, expensive for what I got. But I think it's because I bought, like, 500 packs of nails. Like, honestly, they just, they're just going to keep coming out this bag. I got multiple different packs. So... Like, I'm not even joking. Let me just move for a little bit. I got a few packs of these, just basic, um, those colour ones for £1.30. I got these because I thought these were so cute. Oh, that's another pair of the basic pack I just showed. I got one, two, you're different, you're different, you're the same. You're another basic pack, okay? Apparently, I really like these basic ones because I've bought four pairs of them. And then I got three of these because I thought these are adorable. These are only £2.00 got little love hearts on them how flipping cute so i got three of them i got one of these which actually um the ones i've got on now these like pink pointed ones i might have actually bought two packs because these i've got on now i might have bought as well i don't really know i kind of lost track and then i also got these which i actually don't remember buying these but they're kind of cute um these are three pounds and they're like little cherries on them and they've also got like um like pink pointed tips like french tips on them and that is everything i got quite a variety some hits some misses but overall i feel like quite a big primark haul quite proud of that um anyway that is it for this video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe down below if you haven't already and i'll also link down below my what's new in primark for april as well so you can go and see like other new in bits that i haven't picked up give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe down below if you haven't already and i will see you at some point soon in another video bye